Hey everybody, it's me, Diogen Z, and I've got a couple of words about SOPA. Now, SOPA is sweeping everybody's minds. It's been going on for months, really, but it's just coming to people's attention now because of the internet strike that went on on the 18th. It's currently the 20th today. I didn't jump on this whole topic because I've come to a rage level that's just gotten me... Poof! blown many brain vessels. I've been fighting against this bill when it was S978 or whatever the fuck it was, and you could see that video there. It never stops, people. And what's worse? What's worse than SOPA? Alright, so maybe I should explain if you don't even know. Stop Internet Online or Stop Online Piracy Act is what SOPA is. And then PIPA, I don't even know what that stands for, but it's just a follow-up which does essentially the same horrible thing. And while its intentions are quote-unquote good, just like our intentions for terrorism are quote-unquote good while we murder innocent civilians mercilessly and we ourselves become the terrorists, but that's, that's a whole other issue. Um, but what it is, is it's trying to stop online piracy by controlling all copyrights online. So what this means, anything that has copyrighted material on it, anything... It doesn't even have to be a download. It doesn't even have to be a torrent. It could just be a song. It could just be an image. It could just be whatever the hell they want, really. It is essentially their method for controlling the inter internet. And whose method but the government. I know it sounds like, wow, this is just a big, uh, big dark doom and gloom. Come on, Dio Gen Z. They would never take down the internet. They can't shut down YouTube. They can't take down Google. Well... Sites like Wikipedia already went black to show you what it would be like if nobody could contribute anything because everything is just a bit of taking and putting together of old to make something new. So example, my LPs, that would get me thrown in jail. I'm a partner now and I'm losing my job automatically. Isn't, it, isn't that great? Keep that in mind is that all Obama has done over these past course of uh, the fall and winter before he gets out of office is take away more jobs. I don't know what happened with the medical marijuana dispensaries in California after the 45 days. If somebody who is in California could comment below, tell me, but he looked to shut those down. He's looking to take out the internet. There's been bills passed that shot down the Amazon affiliate program, although something happened where I think it's back now. It's absolutely ridiculous how many rights are just being ripped away from us every day every fucking day and it's it's not, i don't even care about this stop online piracy because guess what it's not going to work okay it's not going to work government it's not going to work people a there's always hackers and b there's always going to be piracy there was piracy back in the days of tape recorders and vcrs okay people will go to endless lengths to get whatever they want for no price you can't stop that but what you can do, if you are going to make a bill that tries to target pirates, is try not to snowball everything up in there, you know, so innocent people like myself and sites that host good content like Cerebi, plenty of Nintendo news sites, Google, because of all the information on there, you know, try and not engulf all of that, that is legal, that's making people legitimate money that I pay taxes on. You know, try not to stop that because you're going backwards, you know. I, I know you're trying to keep this fake economy alive. I know that's the goal. But at this point, it seems like they don't even need to care about the economy anymore. That's the sad truth. The way that I view this place, the way that I view America, is that either you go in the military or you'll get arrested. It's very uh, a very stark line in the sand for me to draw that doesn't seem as apparent now. But the bill that worries me the most and why I, I couldn't even care less. I mean, I do care. I, I'm really a aggravated to the point of where I just, I can barely show any emotion because I'll, I'll flip the fuck out. But what I care more about is the National Defense Authorization Act, the NDAA, which has already been signed by Obama. 
Does that mean it's in office? Does that mean it's already active? Does that mean that today I could have a knock on my door and I could be carted away? Well, what the NDAA is, is it redefines America as a battleground. And as such, on the battleground, there's no such thing as due process, no such thing as a fair trial. All those ideals of, uh, that were in um, the Constitution, you might as well just chuck them, incinerate them. Although I think it's a very hysterical notion that we had a Constitution written by a bunch of slave owners saying all men are equal and should be free. You fucking cocksucker. You just have different standards and you redefine the playing field. And how they're redefining, de redefining America is as a battlefield. So now... Anybody can be a terrorist without questioning. You can be incarcerated without questioning, without being having notice to anyone of your family or friends. You could just disappear. You could just disappear. Like Stalin or Hitler's secret police. Are we really at that fucking point, people? Really? We're at 1984, George Orwell's novel. It's fucking come to life. We're in every other country doing what we can to nab up resources. Meanwhile, on the home front, we're saying, well, either you join the battle, son, or we've got a nice prison here for you. It's your choice. If you if you want to speak out against us, you want to speak out against the regime, the, the money, the power of money, because that's all this is, this imaginary fucking material that doesn't get us anywhere, that is putting us in this polluted pothole that's eventually going to kill us. That's... It, that's why I don't get really mad at anything anymore, because I realize it's all a natural process. And if we're meant to die because humanity's just not good enough, because we don't know how to fucking evolve, then fine. Fine. We will die. But it's going to be a slow, painful death. It's going to be irradiated. It's going to be toxified by the water sources that we kill. It's going to be malnourished because we don't know how to produce food for ourselves. It's going to be lacking energy. It's not going to matter if SOPA goes through or PIPA or fuck yourself, whatever the next bill is that tries to control the internet. It's not going to matter when you don't have electricity to turn on any of your devices because we didn't give a shit about self-sustainability while we had the chance. We're already past the breaking point, people. I don't even know if there is a repair that is uh, available for everyone. Honestly, I think what's going to have to happen is mass die-offs. It's, uh, it's ridiculous, but we're at that point. The economy in Europe is done. It's crashed. It's already flatlined. I feel bad for the Europeans. Please comment below. What is your economy like? I know what it's like being here, an American citizen, an American college student, and it's bullshit. And it's not even fully crumbled yet. People are still trying to wake up to that fact. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable how brainwashed people can continue to be on a daily basis when it's stirring them in the fucking face that they have no rights. You are owned. And good luck trying to get out because guess what? You've got contracts here, here, and here, and we have your soul. My soul's already taken. I can't leave America like I wanted to because I went to community college. And I think that's a good move because I need all the education I can before this system crumbles. I'm going to milk it for what it's worth because I sincerely believe there's not that much time left. Learn what you can now and build up your own farm. Be able to supply for yourself and see if you could look into solar. But... College books, all right? I'm just going to give you an example of how ridiculous it is to be in fucking college. This is community college, mind you, okay? This is not some high Ivy League special school. I went in to go buy books the other day, right? I check out this, uh, I have Amazon price checker on my phone. And um, I check out this college book. It's $150 used. Used. And it's just a general biology book, nothing special, okay? So 150 used. You know what it went for on Amazon? $33. $33. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? That outrages me. That is the government blatantly telling you with this fucking price gouging and barrier that you can't go to college. No, 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 no. Education is restrained for the wealthy because because the wealthy believe in this system and that's the key I don't believe in it I never had a job this right here 
This YouTube thing, this with partnership, is technically my first real career that pays money. I've had a family job where I've worked on the farm plenty of times and for endless hours, but that's irrelevant. This is the first fucking job I had that I have to now pay taxes on. Another way that I'm intertwined into the system. Great. I make money just to spend it away, give it to the government so they can misuse it in other countries by killing people I don't even fucking know. I don't even know. And they're not, they're not all bad people. I know that. I know that for a fact. There's no fucking way with all the civilians we killed, they're all bad people. I don't even know the numbers, but I've heard it before, and it's grotesque. It's a grotesque amount of people that we've destroyed, lives we've ruined, and areas we've occupied with gun force so we could have resources. Shitty resources, too. Resources to keep this whole thing fucking barely afloat. On petroleum. We're going to hit peak oil eventually. And if we don't hit peak oil, guess what? We're going to extinguish ourselves because the technologies we put in place too lazily uh, times ago, like the pipelines, like the rigs, like the bad, like the bad qualifications and engineering and supervising it took to try and keep this afloat that's going to kill us before that inefficiency is not going to allow us to reach peak oil because we're too pathetic and too polluting to the environment to live in it that's what it's going to come down to we have a massive plastic beach out in the pacific ocean nobody gives a fuck nobody nobody says hey you know i woke up this morning and i just realized Son of a bitch, there's a plastic island, an artificial island of junk, of human-made junk that's undoubtedly human-made. Okay, you can make stupid arguments that I don't even believe that we didn't contribute to global warming. The fuck we did! The fuck we didn't, you know? Of course we contribute to global warming. We contribute just by breathing, people. Alright, everything does, and we're the most of any organism that uh, can pollute at this level. There are organisms greater than us in amounts, but compared to the level of uh, pollution, we are taking the cake. So, my whole, let me bring this back, about SOPA. They're trying to control the internet because they're losing control of the entire system. Things are collapsing, and you're going to notice a lot more stringent policies. So, all I can say in these dark times... Uh, I sure hope that it doesn't continue out this path, but arm yourself with knowledge and never become passive to what takes place before your eyes because there's always deeper levels and when you're just looking on the surface, it's exactly what they want you to do. So I'm Dio Gen Z telling you to investigate. Don't just watch this video and accept it. Investigate your world and become enraged and enlightened. I'll see you guys next time.